Someday. This was requested by Eric Hugh, very uh, beloved song in the Ween canon, I believe. And uh, in terms of the, you know, its inclusion on Shinola, I don't, just a quick side note, I, I remember hearing on the uh, Podween Satan podcast, which, uh, you know, is a pretty cool podcast if you haven't heard of it, one of the, you know, Ween centric podcasts out there. One of the hosts on it, I believe, I think it was just a theory they had. I thought they said that they heard Mickey say it somewhere, but I thought I heard them say that the genesis of wanting to do Shinola in the first place is because they really felt like uh, they wanted to include, they regretted not including Someday on Quebec. Quebec, whatever. Uh, people will get mad either way I pronounce it. Anyway, um, so if that's true, I think that's interesting. But if I could find like a source like that, I'd love to. But uh, I think that was just a theory they had. Either way, this is just a quick side note. So let's just get right into it. There's the main lick of the song. Let's do that first. So classic sixths. And this is definitely hybrid picked, which means, you know, pluck the G string and middle finger plucking, or maybe your ring finger, whatever, uh, for the high E string. So that's... Alright, so... Six on the G, fifth on the E, and you know, very quick little hit. You know, don't go... You want to make it right like that so six and five then seven on both right and then just move that up two frets to the ninth and then go back down here and then two hits on the ninth and that's the only one the very last hit is the only one you let ring out in the whole sequence and then you get into the main part right so So that's just a D chord, and just strum it from the, definitely want to include the A string in there. So that's G string, then little suspension, pull off there, then B, then go from the, you know, end on the D string. And then a little dissension there. So he does it like bar chords like this if you see him do it live. So just an A major and then A flat major like that. Or G sharp, whatever. So this is G major 7. You could do G major 7 differently, but this is how he does it live. And I like this voicing personally. It has a very like B minor tonality to it just because of the voicing. Like it's basically just a B minor triad on it. And then I think he's hitting the open D in there. He could, you could get away with not doing that, but uh, I, I think the voicing of it's fine. Mute the A string, hit it, hit the G note on the third fret of low E with your thumb, and then just, yeah. G4, B3, E2. It just kind of strums that very softly, of course. The verse, the verse, especially, he gets very soft with the strumming. Very sedate. There's not like a strict rhythm of it. He just kind of strums it here and there. And then, F sharp minor. Not a seven or anything, it's just a pretty straight F sharp minor. And then A major. He mutes the high E, so he just, so he just you know, A, a string up to the B string. And then you do uh, from the G major again. And then the chorus. Now he does a G minor, but he voices it, he does it like this. Right? So that's, you could obviously do it like a bar chord. It doesn't particularly make a difference here, but uh, I see him do it live like this. So that's just barring on the third fret and the high three strings. Open D, mute the A, and hit the G uh, on the bass. And after that, he hits the D with that little suspension there. 
He does that little uh, lower arpeggiation there, descending. And then he does this little... Alright, so A open, 1, 2. And then he strums a B minor. E major. And then the lick. So uh, just loops after that, you know, another verse and chorus or whatnot. And then after he gets there again. Then it may be one day soon. He hits the low A there before they go into the next bit. All right, so the, uh, so the, there's the synth with like the flute sound playing the, repeating pattern over this the guitar is actually doing something underneath it's basically just these chords uh it's a very sort of minimalist part solo at the end so that's basically just uh you know so it's a d major we're just focusing on these top three strings there's not really a dead set pattern for how to do this it's just it's very sparse like it's definitely not You could do that. I actually like how that sounds, but you know, uh, and on the record, it's more like. Something like that. So, yeah, just. No augmentation or suspension of that uh, D chord, you're just hitting it. And then F sharp minor, we'll try it here. And then G minor. With a little, little. So it's, that one definitely is B string, then high E, B, then G string. So, and then the little, and then. And then we get an A major that just kind of vamps while the scale run goes up. And then and there's a solo over top of the same progression. So that uh, scale run up, it's basically just going up a A mixolydian. You can think of it as D, but it's, it's going over an A chord. So I think of it as a mixolydian. And you're starting on an A, so it's uh, you, I think it's easier to go up a position here instead of starting here. You have to climb up like that. It's a little awkward. Uh, sort of alleviate that a little bit by going down here. So. And you're ending on that high A up there. So that's start from here. It's just a scale run up, but... Uh, So, and it's not super uh, precise about the pattern. It does kind of stay on some notes longer than others. So I say, as long as you sort of gradually work your way up.
like that. That should be good. As long as you just end on that A and stay there as the progression starts over again. Alright. So after that. <laughs> so anyway, the solo. Uh, it's going to start here. It definitely has that sound like he's playing up higher on the neck to me on the lower strings, so... It's basically copying the melody. Alright. 10 on the B. 11 on the G. Then one hit on this note. Alright. So, one hit on that. And climb up on the D, 9, 11, 12, then 11 on the G, 9, 7, 9, 11 on the D, in space, and then, and then he does it again, he just ends it on that, and then you notice there's two hits on that note. stands it on that and then he goes up here over the G minor All right so that's bend up on uh, oh gee what is that 18 right full step of the B then go down there on the 15 17 14, then 16 of the D, so, ends that phrase, and then he does it again, and that time he just ends on that note, and then he does this beautiful little arpeggiation over the B minor, he does... That's how he ends it. So that's just so 14, 15, 16, and then it's that 17, and then well he hits that with his pinky, and then with your middle finger. So you're still holding the position. And then you go up with your pinky there, 17 on the B. And then... Alright, so you switch your finger there. I uh, like to go to my uh, pointer finger, first finger, whatever. So that's on the G, 16. 18 on the D and then G 19 and he just kind of slides down after he lets it ring for a bit and that's the song thank you very much for this request thank you so much for watching and uh, take care